let's get ready to go to Lima, Peru. All right, Fly Crew, so we're getting ready to go to Lima and I'm working this trip out of Atlanta. So let's head to the airport. All right, Fly Crew, so I just made it to the airport and I don't have to check in for my trip until 10 to 25 p.m. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and check in now since I'm actually at the airport. Fly crew, I made it to my room here in Lima, Peru. And this room is nice. Here is the bathroom. Let's turn the lights on. Oh, there we go. Very nice bathroom sink we do have a body mirror right here on the back of the door and then here is the shower very nice shower so typically i i'm not a fan of these like half shower door things but this tub is kind of long so i don't think that i will be getting the floor really wet from just trying to take a basic shower. We shall see about that. <laughs> Here is a quick little peep out of the window. The flight was a good flight, and I mentioned earlier in the video that my report time was at 10.25 p.m. Therefore, I basically took a red eye from Atlanta here to Lima, Peru, and the current time is 8.24 a.m. My crew is a mixture of people. It's mostly Atlanta flight attendants, but we do have one from Minneapolis. We have one from Salt Lake City and me from Detroit, but I have good news. I just got my base transfer, and I will be based in Atlanta for the first time ever in my full flight attendant career starting in November. I'm so happy about that. As a flight attendant, you hear different things about different bases. Oh, this base is this, this base is that. Could be good things, could be bad things, but there is nothing like being based at home. Whenever I've been a flight attendant at my other two airlines and I was able to work trips from home, it's just something good about just being able to get up, drive to base, get on the airplane, work, come back home and drive to your house and not have to worry about a commute flight. Because I will be transferring to Atlanta, I will be one of the most junior flight attendants there. So so I'm expected to have just like a raggedy schedule. But as of right now, I'm mentally prepared for that. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna complain about it because I'm just happy to be there at this moment. So I love that for me. Plans for today. I'm gonna go ahead and change so I can go downstairs and eat breakfast. We do get free breakfast here today. Tomorrow we leave at 6.25 a.m. So we're gonna leave too early to get the free breakfast. So I'm gonna go ahead and change, go down and eat that, come back and shower so I can take a nap because me and another flight attendant are gonna go sandboarding here in Peru. So I'm super excited about that. Let me go ahead and change clothes really quickly so I can eat, come back, shower, take a nap because we're gonna get picked up between 12 15 and 12 30 so i'll catch y'all later
everyone. So after having breakfast with several of my crew members and taking a really mini nap, I am dressed to get ready to head to go to sandboarding. So this should be picking us up in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs. So I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt, some black leggings and my workout pants. I'm not quite sure how the weather would be over there. So I'm bringing a light little workout jacket just in case it's, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and my fanny pack and I'm heading out the door. I just conquered my baby heel. <laughs> it was a little bit of a struggle as you could tell, but I did it. My legs are gonna be so strong. I'm excited. Yay. You're doing it! Yay! You're a natural. Uh-huh. Kills, kills. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Your arms, yes. Keep on sideways. When you quick go for you can go straight down. Yeah, hey! Almost. <laughs> Alright Fly Crew, so I am back from sand porting. I have showered, decompressed just for a little bit, and now me and some of my other crew members were getting ready to walk around the city just a little bit and have dinner. I'm wearing like a mock neck, kind of three-quarter length maxi dress with some sneakers just something to be a little bit more comfortable i'm just kind of casual with what i'm wearing my crew is waiting on me i'll catch you guys in a little bit Fly crew, fly crew. I have not talked to y'all today because I was the galley flight attendant today working from Lima, Peru to Atlanta. For all my fellow widgets and for other people who knows what being a galley flight attendant means on an international flight or transoceanic flight, y'all know I was working. It was my first time being a galley flight attendant and your girl is tired. It's just certain stuff that when you're in training they can't teach you, you have to learn on the job. So I looked at notes, I watched videos, I got advice from other flight attendants and it's still nothing like experiencing it for yourself like it's a hands-on job my crew members were very nice they explained so much to me they were very patient they understood and I I'm just really thankful for that because I just know it could go different so I'm so happy they were patient they explained a lot of things to me I just want to give y'all my pure raw emotions as related to working galley for the first time on an international flight it was a challenge because it was something I had never done before but it was a great learning experience so I loved it I just want to check with y'all let y'all know what was going on I'm headed home because I need to relax. Next time on Court to Fly. All right, Fly Cruiser, we're getting ready to head to the Teleforico. 
So as you can tell, it is peak October. This is my first time working in the month of October. It's uh, scrambled eggs. It was like it has like. Uh... How did I do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So make sure you subscribe.